Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Supposed to Nathan Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to. And this one says that Christian man admit Allah is the true God. <laughs> well, Allah is definitely you understand the true God depending on the angle you are coming from or how you understand it. Imagine you who speak English go to um, Arab, right? Any of the Arabian innocent countries and then you are speaking to someone about um, God probably they may not kind of understand what you're saying but then you have to say it in their own language that they are going to understand and what did they call God in their language Allah so when you are making the references and then speaking about innocent Allah to me I feels like innocent you are still saying the same thing which is same God but then when we get down to the video, we can be able to like understand what the man means when he says that Allah is the true God. Because I don't think that that have any dispute or maybe an objection. But then, if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it in the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion or thought or belief. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So guys, without any further ado, let's get on to this video and check this out. As a Christian, mm. I consider Jesus a prophet. Okay. But he's a prophet of the one God. There's not several. Uh, so, uh, as a Christian, I worship Allah. Do you want to speak with confidence like these amazing personalities? Every single one of these amazing speakers have taken the same program with Brother Muhammad Arshad. Muhammad Arshad has helped develop all of us. It's extremely beneficial to do this course. Uh, Definitely recommend this course. Expect to become a better communicator and understanding the underpinnings of effective communication. To access the free life-changing training now. Gary Wills has been a leading commentator on political and religious life in America for decades and is well respected in the Christian community. After reading the Quran, he came to the realization that Muslims worship the one true God. Uh, so, uh, as a Christian, I worship Allah. Allah is the one who gave life to you and me. He is not a man or an object, but rather he is unlike anything you can comprehend with your senses. He is the most high above his creation and worthy of all praise. And at some point, people ask, well, who here has read the Quran? None of us have. Uh, and a, a friend of mine said, not even you, Gary? I thought you were a student of religion. And I, and I said, yeah, that's the problem. I'm, I'm totally ashamed. Uh, and so I went and have been trying to repair that stupidity ever since, but I've tried in a lot of venues to ask how many people have read the Quran. Dare I do it now? Uh, how many have read the Quran? A minority, certainly. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to shame you, but I do. <laughs> I think we should all be ashamed. You know, we're, we're throwing our weight around in a world where almost a quarter of the population are Muslims. And not to know, you know, how, how can you say the Islamic State is a false construct if you don't know what true Islam is? Unfortunately, many people today are just too lazy to do research. The majority simply judge based on preconceived notions and negative stereotypes which have been presented to them by the mainstream media for many years now, where they depict Muslims as evil villains who are out to destroy the so-called free world. It's laughable 
that the very ones who push these narratives are the ones taking away our freedom, little by little. Of course, all of this is done intentionally to keep people away from the truth, but that barrier is breaking. <laughs> Anyway, that's a very interesting uh, video, listening to David giving um, his own view about um, Islam and then also about um, God. You know, one very interesting um, challenge, which is also one of the things that some of you at the comment section keep telling me that, Newton, why would you say that you have not um, read the Quran? Okay, let me put it this way. It's not that... I have not read the Quran, you understand, but it's just that I have not kind of read the totality of it. Or let me just say that while I was in the School of Theology, they have a particular printout, okay, that is about the Quran or some things, you understand, about the Quran and all those things like a, like a book that we are given, right? So we read it then from there, we learned, you understand, about um islam so that is the reason why i don't really kind of fully consider it and says that i have read the quran completely okay but at least i know a lot of things you understand about um islam but then i think uh what some of you may not really understand is there's a difference between um you a muslim and then a muslim scholar is teaching you as a student about um, Christianity you see I don't know if, if you guys are kind of understand what I'm trying to say the thing is imagine my lecturer who taught me you understand about Islam is a Christian and teaching me about Islam so how did you think that I am going to understand it like the way you think you understand you understand it you see but if a Muslim, you know, sense scholar teaching me about Islam. You know, it's going to be very different than a Christian teaching me about a Islam, which the person is not, in a sense, a Muslim. Imagine me as a Christian teaching someone about Islam. Whereas me in the first place is not Islam. Yes, I may try to teach the person about Islam based on what I know, and then some things maybe about some the pillars of Islam and then some few things about Islam and what you are expected to do and how you should pray and all those things, right? But you don't expect it to be as perfect as how maybe 
maybe a muslim somebody someone who is muslim okay can actually teach so not to even talk about it as an, a scholar or maybe probably an imam or a sheikh you know that there's actually in a, a difference so some of you don't have to kind of blame me a lot but then before you blame me before you blame me remember i made a video on my channel and i said that i need a scholar right i need at least a scholar who is willing to teach me you understand about islam that i am willing to learn up till today nobody kind of message me or receive anything of that nature of someone who is willing to teach me and i even say once in a week once in a week still i was not able to have a scholar and the reason why i wanted you know, at least a scholar is because whatever the person is going to teach me is going to have a direct effect on me and then also on what i will also be saying on the channel and that's why i was even saying that even with the scholar will even agree i will have i will not have issues with even making maybe some of our classes online make it that people can actually view make it live for instance so that people can kind of view and then also know what the person is actually teaching me but then that would depend with the person if the person will permit it then i can still put it in a live online and then we all learn about it but no one you know saying show interest in that but then anyway i will not say much but then i will still do my best learn based on how i can learn read the quran at some point maybe try to understand it and pray to god to guide me uh, on what he's actually saying in his word then see how you know, that um goes now coming back in you know, to him saying that he is admitting that god is allah of course god is allah that's why i was saying even at the beginning of the video that when you are speaking to somebody who is an arab right you have to use that word you know, allah for the person to understand right but then he went on in a sense on the next in a sense sentence he was making and he was saying that he believed that jesus is a prophet and then the prophet of one god of allah then that is where i may have a little issues with it or this is where i may say that okay i may consider him not a christian but then i will consider him a jew because a jew consider jesus as a prophet or should i say a rabbi that's just it so that is why I'm say, I used to say or I'm saying in my videos that there's a difference between Jews and a Christian. We are not the same. Or I may even consider him a Muslim because the Muslim believe in Jesus as a prophet, just like how the Jew you understand also do. You see, so I will not consider him as a Christian because you are only Christian when you recognize you understand him as God and not in a sense a prophet. And we Christians don't say that Jesus, you understand, is three people. Like Jesus is one God, the Holy Spirit, another God, and then God the Father, another God. No, it's just one God we are worshiping. We are only saying that God manifests itself, you understand, to human, to come and reconcile human back to himself. That is after the fall of Adam, which is based on our own um, belief system and not just about him coming to the world but then his resurrection from the cross is a word that actually formed the number one fundamentals or should i say the foundation of christianity so even if he come to this world and then he did not die then there shouldn't be anything that had um, to do with um christianity but then because we believe in his resurrection that is the victory in a sense over death that's the victory over the devil which shows that in a sense he is truly god but i know that a lot of muslims will not even believe you understand what i am saying when it comes to jesus um resurrection but then i know that with time okay we will get to understand um one another a very interesting um video and then your thought and comment are all welcome at the comment section you understand concerning this but then trust me don't be in haste okay to insult me but then even if you insult me it's still normal okay it's still normal i don't have issues with it but then you have to understand that things like this okay it takes time and it's a process okay so i would just encourage you that let's keep growing okay day by day and if you are honest with me that's if you have been with me because i think i started reacting to maybe islamic videos it's like maybe a year now yeah let's say a year close to a year a year let's say one year two months yeah about like yeah you realize that go and check out in a sunday initial videos i used to react to the beginning videos i used to react to sometimes with nancy grace you bear with me that i have really changed 
the way I perceive things in a about Muslim, a lot of things have truly changed. So if you look at it in, a, in that aspect, you know that there's actually a lot of progress. So when you go on to say, oh, this guy has to be this, don't, don't, <laughs> you guys normally forget that like, that's not how life is. Sometimes things don't go the way you want it to be, but things always go the way God wants it to be. So I just encourage you, stay here, let's keep learning day by day and i hope that you understand there will be a lot of changes whatever will happen tomorrow i do not know and whatever will happen in the next an hour i do not know but god knows um better so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye